Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is the final NFL Sunday and Monday of September. It is September 29th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up from the NFL for Sunday in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to get down on that offer, 33% off the rest of the football season. Do it today, 33% off college football and NFL for the rest of the season. Both college and pro included in one package. That's how we do it. That's how we roll over at DocSports.com. 33% off. Here's how you do it. Let's say you go to the DocSports.com homepage. You go to my personal homepage over at DocSports.com. Click on the rest of the football season package. A little box will pop up. It'll ask you for a code. That code is FB season. 33. FB season 33, 33% off the rest of the football season, which includes both college football and the NFL. You don't have to purchase them separately. And again, it's all one word, that code word FB season 33. Be sure to check it out over at DocSports.com. Hey, listen, uh, right now as we speak, uh, kicking this out early, as we had said on yesterday's video that we hoped we were going to be able to do, uh, we're 3-0 and right now with premium picks in college football, 4-0 and if you include our free pick winner on Baylor. And that's with two plays to go, both about to kick off in the next uh, few minutes or so. So we'll update results on Monday's video. But I did want to get this out there because those are West Coast games that are going to end very late Saturday night. And I want to be paying attention to those games. I want to be potentially jumping in with some in-game and all that kind of stuff. So we'll do the video right now. But so far, and we'll look to keep it going, 4-0 uh, with all of our college football plays today. Uh, we didn't do any baseball on Saturday, but here's what's going on right now at DocSports.com for Sunday. Three NFL plays for this week's card. That includes a six-unit play on Sunday. And by the way, six-unit football plays are a perfect 3-0 so far this season. It also includes Monday Night Football. So three plays to go left on this package, including the six-unit play in the NFL, a Another play in the NFL, my two-team six-point teaser, and Monday Night Football. And it's all available right now at DocSports.com. We'll look to make it three out of four winning weeks so far uh, unit-wise uh, in the NFL. As far as baseball is concerned, we do like a spot on Sunday. We will be involved in one baseball game on Sunday. It looks like maybe two, for sure one. And uh, again, it's a great spot on Sunday. You'll see about it as you go there, if you go there, and jump on board in baseball on Sunday. Football is available right now, Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Two more sports to talk about before we jump into the meat of Sunday's uh, discussion and video. Uh, WNBA, they've been off for a few days. Playoffs resume. Championship time Sunday. We've got a play on Sunday's game. It is a five-unit play in the WNBA. We are on 18-8 and 44-23-2 and and winning WNBA runs. Don't miss out on the five-unit play. It'll be available on Sunday over at DocSports.com and also uh, NASCAR, which as soon as I wrap up this video I'm going to be posting NASCAR for Sunday I've got a seven unit matchup for Sunday's card and I uh, just wanted to mention the play will be up by 11 p.m. Pacific time Saturday night all the way available until obviously about five minutes or so before the race gets underway on Sunday but a seven unit play on NASCAR uh, we're nine and one our last ten and we're 16 and four eighty percent going all the way back to the first of May and uh, by the way we're up over fifty five hundred dollars for one hundred dollar per unit betters so as you can see a lot going on on Sunday and uh, again NASCAR will be available by 11 by 11 p.m. Pacific time on Saturday night for Sunday don't miss out on the NFL six unit play tops the three play card which includes Monday night football all right, I uh, wanted to tell you that uh, Sunday mornings, of course, or afternoons, if you're on the East Coast, I'm on ESPN National every Sunday. And uh, generally, my spot comes on between 12.30 p.m. Eastern and 12.45 p.m. Eastern. And we update where the, the Sharps are, where the Joes are, the public, uh, what's the most heavily bet game ticket-wise as opposed to uh, most heavily bet game as far as money's concerned. But I wanted to let you know kind of where things stand as we speak here on Saturday evening. Uh, Tickets-wise, the most most heavily bet side thus far in a couple of the books that I trust when they send me this information has Kansas City minus the points as the number one ticket getter so to speak or the number one public play thus far KC getting almost 80% of the tickets they're laying seven at Detroit that's almost a risk versus reward thing by the way because if Matthew Stafford is legitimately injured he's listed as questionable then you can get KC at minus seven against a Detroit Lions offense that will not be led by Stafford we don't know yet 
yet uh, if he's going to play or not listed as questionable. As far as the money is concerned, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers a sharp side getting 75%, more than 75% of the money right now. They have dropped from as high as 10 down to nine and nine and a half. Cup of the nine starting to pop up in sharp books. They of course are on the road against the Rams and again the Bucks getting more than 75% of the money. Joe's versus pros top one so far Oakland at Indianapolis. Right now the Colts getting about 55% of the tickets, the public action, but the Oakland Raiders getting over 65% of the sharp action. Uh, right now the Colts are a six and a half point favorite. At one point they were as high as seven. So again, we'll update those with a lot more good stuff to talk about on uh, Sunday morning. ESPN National, find a station in your neck of the woods. And again, we'll be on sometime between 1230 and 1245 uh, Eastern time on Sunday right before those early games kick off. All right, let's get to uh, real quick into our free pick now. It's the Browns at the Ravens here, and the Browns uh, getting a touchdown and an extra point, getting the full seven on the road against Baltimore. And listen, everybody's jumping ship right now with Cleveland. Before the season, they were the talk of the town. Everybody was talking about Cleveland winning the division, a great shot to get to the AFC title game, all that kind of good stuff we heard. Some of those very same people have now jumped ship after three weeks of the season. We have seen offensive line problems for the Cleveland the Browns. They failed in protection uh, of their quarterback, Baker Mayfield, uh, in good chunks of games, of game time throughout games so far this season. So we get it, but we also think that Baltimore is slightly overvalued. Cleveland slightly undervalued here. Listen, when uh, Kansas City last week, which is not a sizzling, sparkling defensive football team, were able to clamp down on Hollywood Brown, Lamar Jackson became last year's Lamar Jackson. He went uh, 22 for 43, I think it was, through the air. And two of of those completions in the fourth quarter boy he just tossing the ball in the air looking to avoid a sack and uh, they drift about 15 20 yards downfield 50 50 jump balls could have easily been picked off they end up being receptions otherwise he has an ultra bad day against a normally beatable kansas city defense so listen cleveland's defense is pretty darn good as you know i think they'll be able to find a scheme to be able to take hollywood brown out of the mix and this does kind of force lamar jackson to revert to some of the things he was doing last year he's making progress there is no doubt about it uh, but things get a little bit tougher when you take on defenses like the Browns other than what he saw against the Miami Dolphins back in week one so listen we like the Cleveland Browns in this spot again we think we're getting some value here I know that offensive line has got to pick it up or they're going to have troubles but we like them in this spot because the power rating says they should be about a five point dog rather than a seven point dog and again with everything I just said with the public jumping off the ship with Cleveland I think it's a good time to grab them here so a recommendation if you agree with it jump on it is our free pick for today it is the cleveland browns on sunday plus seven over the baltimore ravens we'll look to make it a weekend free pick video sweep as we had the baylor bears over iowa state on saturday don't forget about everything going on on sunday right now you can go grab the nfl all three plays including the six unit play on sunday including monday night football and of course you can grab nascar after 11 p.m pacific time we look to extend that run to 10 and 1 and you can grab wnba during the day on Sunday, get baseball at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Again, we're involved in one baseball game for sure on Sunday's card. That's going to do it for me. Hope you're having a terrific Saturday and hope you have a great winning Sunday. If you uh, agree with this play, jump on board with the Cleveland Browns. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column. I'll be right back here Monday with our college football opening line report no later than 5 a.m. Eastern 2 a.m. Pacific. We'll talk to you then.